What is up everyone? Welcome to the Football Chat Box. My name is Ryan and welcome to the Game Week 3 Deadline Stream. How is everyone doing? Amit, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so, the team looks like this. I've used my two free transfers and this is what the team is looking like. Uh, let me just make sure that everything music-wise and everything is good. I think it is, but yeah, let me know how the volume and hopefully the sounds are looking like as well. Um, and if the music is too loud or anything, just let me know as well. But yeah, how is everyone doing? Uh, if you are new, welcome. Uh, say hello in the chat, ask a question. And if you enjoy the content, do hit that like button and subscribe because we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers currently on 562. So if with your help, we can reach to a thousand. Now, how is everyone feeling? For the deadline, I'm a bit early, slightly early than my usual, but we're early, which is good. How's everyone feeling? I've done my two free transfers, um, and this is what the team looks like right now. Uh, Tin, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. 564. Oh, yes, 564 indeed. We just climbed by two. Did we climb by two? Uh, but yeah, how is everyone doing? Is the music looking good? Let me see. Mm, the music seems fine. Uh, Oh well. Okay, I can hear my audio is fine. Alright, cool. How are we looking? Um also there's a f uh Ivan, welcome, welcome after a long time. A few team news. I think someone had who had Ferguson? One of you guys on the live when we did the team selection live show, someone had Ferguson from was it Ian who had Ferguson? I don't know. Let me see. Someone had Ferguson in the team. If you have Ferguson, keep him because he's going to start. Um, so anyone who has Ferguson, do play him. Uh, was it Ian? Was it Ian? I don't remember now. Uh, let's see. If you want me to look at your teams, um, do send them over. You can type them over. Ian didn't have Ferguson. So, oh, someone had Ferguson. I don't remember who had. Um... Just let me know. I can find your teams either in the leagues um, or if you want to tweet it out to me with a screenshot, you can do so by putting it below um, in this link. Actually, I'll give you guys a different link, which is this one. So you can put it in under here um, if you want to share your teams. If you have a screenshot of it, you can put it on that tweet as well mm -hmm. can you look at my team and recommend any transfer two free transfers 28 in the league okay let's have a look uh let's start with you here you are all right you have two free transfers okay let's have a look unfortunate with shaw uh so we'll be looking at i think you start pickford this week so pickford goes in Stupid and Coble. Gabriel, I think you give Gabriel a chance and see how things go. Mitoma, Rashford, Embuema, Saka, Salah, Haaland, Joa, Pedro might be an issue. Now, um, do you have any preference of players? Do you have any preference of players that you want? Uh, looking at your team... You could go with a Chelsea. You could go with a Jackson if you wanted to. How much money do you have? Nothing. <laughs> For you to go to a Jackson, you'll have to downgrade Salah to do it. Or the only other way I can think or something else that you could probably try is you could move Gabriel on to... You could go to a 4.5 defender. If you wanted a Spurs defender, but I'm not really sure. You want Foden and Jackson? Then you have to start with Salah has to go. I would probably move Salah first for Foden. And then I would move potentially Joe Pedro out for Jackson. Joe Pedro or Obama. You can probably move Mubama, but then you'll be benching Joe Pedro this week. Um, that's the one way I can think of you getting uh, Foden and Jackson. 
Uh, 513, how are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm thinking of taking out Salah for Foden. There we go. Uh, start Estupinan or Guardiol. Ooh, that's a very tempting one. I will... Who else is in your backline, 513? Who else is in your backline? Also looking at Udogi. You could do Udogi. If you wanted to do Udogi, then you go Gabriel to Udogi for this week. Now, Gabriel, I don't know whether he'll start or not. He's a risk. No, actually, don't do Gabriel to Udogi. You can do Shaw to Udogi. Or Shaw is out. So you move Shaw off to Udogi. You can do that. And then if you want, you can start Udogi this week in, ahead of Gabriel. Um, or you could, yeah, you could do that. And then if you want, next week you can, can like play with two free transfers if you're happy to keep Salah and not go for Jackson and Ford in this week. But if you want Jackson and Ford in this week, then you've got to move Salah and probably Joe Pedro or probably Mubama, one of the two. Uh, Simon, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please review your team. Yes, I will have a look as well. Um, 513... Oh, no, you, who do you remove? Uh... Roku, welcome. How are you doing? Arsenal predicted lineup. Will Gabriel start? I highly doubt it, but I will have a look. Sent you one on Twitter. Okay, I'll have a look. Let's bring that up. Uh, which is the best Spurs defender? City. The best Spurs defender, City or oh, Arsenal? Best Spurs defender, I think attacking wise, will still be Udogi. Between defense, City and Arsenal, uh, for City, Ruben Diaz is probably the safer pick. Um, for Arsenal. Saliba is probably your safest bet for Arsenal. Um, so this is Simon's team from the last one. Um, so am I in the league? If you're in the league, let me know. I can find your name in the league easily. Team name Purple Saint. Purple Saint. Oops. Yep, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Here we go. ARG, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is it worth starting Enzo this week? Over who? Over who, Blues 47? Over who? Uh, 513's backline is Estupinian, Saliba, Chilwell, Guardiola, Baldock. Ooh. 513, is your team in the league here? Let me know. I'll try and bring it up. Alright, Simon. Um, Alright, how do we fix this? Uh, the midfield can stay as it is. Uh, Minx, how much is Minx? 4.4. How much is Ake? 5.1. I I would probably if you wanted move um Ake to a 4.5 right I would move Ake to a 4.5 and then you could potentially move ah uh, your point point 1 shot no do you have money in the bank or oh, you have point 3 in the bank okay you could do Ake to a 4.5 defender Um, it could be uh, Udogi from um, Spurs. You could go Rico Henry from Brentford. You could even go to a four million Chelsea defender in Gusto uh, from Ake. And then you could, if you want, you can upgrade Joe Pedro to um, a, a Visa. That's a possibility. That's assuming if you wanted to keep like Salah. So you could do those two moves if you wanted. Ake to a formula in Gustav. And Joe Pedro to um, uh, your and Visa. That's one of the things you could try and do. If you wanted to keep Ake, then you could upgrade Minx. You could downgrade Minx, actually. You could do Minx to uh, for Chelsea Defender, right? To just see whether Ake plays or not. You could go Minx to Gustav and Joe Pedro up to your and Visa. 
that's another possible move that you can do. Actually, you should probably just to try and see whether Ake plays or not. Maybe doing Minx out and Joe Pedro out is probably it makes a bit more sense. That's something you could probably try, and obviously start Pickford. Uh, okay, let me bring the comments back up. Martinelli, Saka, Bruno, Rash. Oh, Charles. Ah, that's a tough one. No? Okay, so then in that specific case. Okay, here's the thing. 5 and 3. It's going to be a very tight one. Guardiola will most likely get you a clean sheet. Estupinan might not get you a clean sheet, but there's a tiny potential of attacking returns. So it depends on whether you want to take like a very guaranteed clean sheet or you want to risk it with attacking returns. If you're playing, trying to play the EO game, then you start Estupinan over Guardiola. If you're trying to play the EO game. Um, if you want like, just the clean sheet and don't want to risk it more than that, then you go for Guardiola. Um, ARG, how are you doing? Welcome as well. I read your this uh, 81. I'll bring your team as well. New join in the league. Okay, we'll bring your team. Can I see your team? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is my team. Uh, Roku, let me get the Arsenal um, predictor lineup for you. Give me a second. Uh, hold on, guys. I will read everyone's questions. Rian, how are you doing? Uh, game week three captain? Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. That's for me. Uh, for me, game week three captain, I would go Haaland. It's against a newly promoted side. I generally wouldn't risk it at all, to be honest. All right, so we've got... Where is this? Arsenal, Arsenal. Here we go, Arsenal. Open image in new tab. Here we go. All right, Arsenal predicted lineup. You've got Ramsdale that you guys are kind of missing out on. There we go. Ramsdale. Uh, you got White and Saliba, 86% on Gabriel. So, for anyone who wants to risk and try the Gabriel one, it's a possibility. Zinchenko, I kind of see the idea where Zinchenko is the one who's inverting with Gabriel and Saliba in the center and then White on right back. That's a possibility and I can understand the predictions that's happening here. Then you got Rice, Odegaard, Havertz, Saka, Martinelli and Enkiti as the front. Like the attacking players. Um, so, this is the Arsenal predicted lineup. Uh, so while I keep it out for a few minutes, let me quickly go back to the questions. Um, I will have a look at ARG's team next. And worth starting Enzo. I will have a look at Blues 47 after that. And Sean, how are you doing? Uh, hope you had a great week. Currently holding Kepa and Trossard. What will you do for Trossard? Kepa to Flecken or Sanchez? Ooh. I do mind doing the Kepa to... Who's on your bench, by the way, Sean? Can you let me know who's on your bench? Uh, I don't mind doing the Kepa to... Probably Flecken. Oh, uh, do you already have Chilwell? Is, I need to ask you on that as well. Do you have Chilwell already, Sean? Uh, I'll probably do Flecken if you don't have Brentford defense. But Brentford's fixtures compared to... Uh, to, 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 yeah, I don't mind Flecken to be honest. I don't mind Flecken. That's a possibility you can try. Um, Sanchez. Maybe Flecken slightly. Slightly Flecken over Sanchez. Because we still don't know whether how... I don't know. Sanchez never fills me with confidence yet. You never know with um, until the window is closed with Chelsea. It's so hard to tell what they'll do, whether they'll go inside another keeper as well. Um, Trossard, though, will depend on your bench, who you have on your bench. Um, that's the thing. All right, hold on. Let me move this over here and let me bring up who was it? Um, it was. ARG. Alright, ARG. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Blues 47. Let me bring that up as well. And ARG as well. Aryan. Here we go. Um, Alright. 
let's start with Aryan first because he asked first. 52, what a good week that is. Um Can check my team. I'm 115 in the league. Yes, I will bring that up as well. Uh let me bring it up. Let me bring it up before I forget. Let me close this cuz I replied to Simonal. Uh and I also replied to Ivanor. Um Sean, how are you doing? Welcome. Um is it worth keeping as stupid for long term? The fixtures are quite tough. I have been thinking about that and I myself I wouldn't put it past um me moving as stupid and on for what is it um uh, moving him on for a city defender uh but i would also don't mind giving him the newcastle game just to see what they f- like how brighton face against a slightly more stronger team and opposition how attacking estupinan will be i just i don't mind testing the waters on that as well but i honestly because of how europe starts um because europe starts just after the international break and after game week 5 i can see a lot of rotation happening when this will be gets into europe as well so then i don't mind moving it to another defender like even a trippier and then that's a possibility so i don't mind giving estupin and even one more week against potentially a newcastle in game week 4 before deciding whether i want to move to i don't know newcastle defender or someone else i haven't decided yet on that we'll see Uh all right let's start with ARG first uh which was Aryan All right what are we looking at What was your plans Aryan what was your plans Um what is your plans you've got a really good midfield for this week I will I mean you honestly don't really have too much I would start Edison obviously Um you don't have much that you point eight as well did you do a transfer you have one free transfer right i honestly i would roll this transfer like i would roll the transfer this week because you don't seem like you have anything to kind of like that's urgent to fix um if anything it would be trying to upgrade jo pedro eventually maybe you could upgrade jo pedro to visa if you wanted a brainfeld striker you could do that right you can upgrade jo pedro to visa Uh, the rest of the team you can kind of keep keep as it is um you unfortunately don't have enough money for a jackson per se but you can wait a week if you wanted to it's not too bad to wait a week so you can probably do that if you wanted to move jo pedro off you can move it if you, if you don't want the risk um and visa is actually a pretty decent option as well uh visa in for archer or embema in for fernandez there you go uh i would do visa for archer Oh you can do visa for archer. Do you have the money to do visa for archer? How do you have the money for visa for archer? Point 8 right? Are you sure you have the money for visa to archer? Um I'm thinking Enzo over Rashford for what? Is that to start? You mean to start? Oh no, I would probably give Rashford a go because I think he will play on the left wing this time. I'm expecting Martial to start down the striker spot. Um Guaranteed clean sheet, but guaranteed clean sheet. Enzo is a midfielder. Or? Oh wait, is the guaranteed clean sheet? Are we talking about Guardiola in that case? Um, can you check my team? Okay, yes, that we have opened. Uh, my bench is Turner, Archer, and Baldock and Kabore. Already have Chilwell. This is for Sean. Already have Chilwell, so you can go to uh, Flecken if you want, Sean. since you don't have a rico henry i don't mind a flecken um with trossard okay here's the thing with trossard i don't know whether he's going to start or not i would have loved for him to play this game against fulham honestly and he could still get an opportunity so it's up to you in terms of how much you want to risk it If you don't want to risk it and you want to move him out then I would move him out to maybe even an Mbemo if you had uh if you wanted to do that move to an Mbemo if you didn't have an Mbemo um that's a possibility that you can try But if he does play it's a really good fixture so it's a bit of a risk 
I probably might move, but if you want to risk it with one player, you can. Um, what are your thoughts on bringing in Guardiola this week? I don't mind that move, Abe. I actually don't mind that uh, move. I think it's a pretty decent move, actually. You can do it. Uh, I put the captain on Chubal. Think he will get a goal or assist and keep a clean sheet. Good luck, Connor. Good luck. I don't mind it, actually. Bro, Rashford captain for game week three. Probably not. Uh, I would be happy if he gets a goal and all, but with because they haven't shown any form, I wouldn't risk putting the armband on Rashford. But they haven't shown any form, and Forrest have shown a bit of form in terms of defensive uh, capabilities. So I wouldn't do it. Um, I have one million in the bank, by the way. Thanks again. Looking to get rid of one of them. Sterling, Ford, and Embraer. Maybe Henry to Trippier. Yep, that kind of makes sense. Next week. Yep. Can you check my team? 19 in the league. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, it ARG. Aryan replied. Can get Visa in for Archer after I add Embraer in for Fernandez. Do you think a Joa is worth keeping even on the bench? See, that's a tough question to answer because we don't know in terms of how rotation is going to strike. Now, we know that Ferguson is going to play uh, the upcoming game against West Ham. Now, the question is, does Ferguson play alongside Welbeck or does Ferguson play alongside Joe Pedro or does Ferguson play alongside Lalana? That's a million-dollar question, so I don't even know what's going to happen for that. Uh, you can keep him and see how things go if you wanted to. Um, I don't mind it, but I also don't mind keeping Fernandez for one more game against Forrest. Uh, but if you want, you can do the upgrade, honestly. But then if you do the upgrade, you're benching Joe Pedro. Uh, aren't you? Because if you bring in Visa and Embuemo, you're benching Joe Pedro in this case. Uh, Anish, welcome, welcome to NQ0RZ. What is that? What is 2NQ0RZ? Um, okay, let's check Blues 47, which is uh, Javier's team. And then on to Rian, and I need to bring on Amit as well. Let me bring Amit as well, just load it up so I don't forget. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Where is Amit? Here we go. All right, Blues 47, let's go. Uh, which has the biggest upside, plan A or plan B? Leaning towards plan A. Gakpo to Jackson and Luis to Guardiol or Gakpo to Senseo and Chuku to Foden. I would do plan A. Gakpo to Jackson and Luis to Guardiol. I think that kind of seems a bit more upside. So I'd probably do plan A. Oh, your, your code? Ah, you mainly code. Okay, hold on. I'll just keep it on the... I'll keep it with me. Give me a second. Didn't I join? I thought I joined. Oh, I think I might have added the uh, football chat box mini. I did join your mini league. The panel team is on that uh, because I think I've reached my cap. All right, let's have a look at Blues Forty Seven. What's the plan? Oh, Saliba on the bench. Have you got rid of Trent, or are you keeping Trent? What is the plan? Tempt in the way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Um, a captain Chilwell. I think he will get a. Uh, I read that. Um. What's the plan here? Saliba starts for sure, probably, definitely, most likely. Uh, so if uh, I transfer Trent out to Estupinen and McAllister to Foden. Mac to Foden, Trent to Estupinen, start both of them. Uh, oh, you're the one with Ferguson. Okay, you need to start Ferguson because now we know he's starting. I, I remember I saw someone with Ferguson. I was like, okay, okay, so you're the manager with Ferguson. So Ferguson starts this week because you kind of got news that he's starting. Um, so then the question arises, uh, what do you do with Saliba? Do you start Saliba or not this week? That is a million dollar question. I don't know. No, I'll probably start Ruben Diaz. I'll probably bench Saliba. The rest of your team looks pretty good. So keep it as it is. Um, Enzo on the bench it is. Oh. Yeah. Enzo probably on the bench. He's more of a goal scorer. Sorry, Rashford is more of a goal scorer than Enzo. So yeah. Um, And next week? We'll handle it next week. For now, it's very hard to tell you what actually. Because there are a few options running in my head in terms of like. It'll depend on how players perform and all. So we kind of need to wait and see Rashford how he performs. 
um, we'll need to monitor like Chelsea assets, whether you need to go for Jackson or not. So we'll have to see whether you move Ferguson later or not. So we'll come back to you like next week. We'll decide on Tuesday when we do the live stream show. We'll decide on Tuesday whether what to do with like next week. Uh, for now, your team looks solid, to be honest. Uh, who should I bench out of Saliba, Mwemo, Akanji and Estupinan? It would probably be Saliba in that specific situation. Tempting the wave. Because Mwemo, attacking player, Akanji, more, probably a better chance of a clean sheet than Saliba. Estupinan, attacking defensive fullback. So probably Saliba in that specific case. Uh, in terms of like, yeah, the Blues 47, next, next week, I, I guess Ferguson is one to watch and Rashford are one to watch. Those are the two players for next week that I would put like a watch list in terms of if they don't, like if Rashford doesn't do well, potentially a transfer out. That's probably what I'm thinking for my team as well. So one to watch, obviously. Um... So that's Blues, and next up, Rian, and then we've got Amit as well. You're 12th in Mini League. That's the Football Chat Box panel. Yeah, I think the Football Chat Box panel is 12th in the Mini League. It hasn't got off to a good start, unfortunately. <laughs> we did go very risky on that. <laughs> it didn't pay off this time. Uh, is Ferguson going to do well, though? Here's the thing, right? He could do well. I mean, end of the day, right now, Brighton is the most attacking team in the league. So when you know, like, the striker of the most attacking team in the league is going to start, you should probably give it a go, right? End of the day, you're starting an attacker over a defender. Give it a go. See what happens. Worst case, he gets two points. Best case, he comes off with a double-digit haul. I would risk it when the manager has come out and said that he's going to start. I would probably risk it. Bench Mac for, uh, no, McAllister has been transferred out, uh, Amit. He has transferred McAllister out for Foden. Uh, check my team. Uh, yes. Okay, I will have a look at your team as well. All right, so that's Blues. Uh, will Madison be in the squad? So Madison, it seems like he's not, or well, at least he trained. Whether he starts is a different question. Whether he beats in the squad, that is a possibility. If you have Madison, which like I've just moved to Rian's team, and if you have Madison in here, I would keep a Madison. I wouldn't transfer Madison out. Whether you start him, in this specific case, I don't mind starting Madison because you have Udogi on the bench. Start him and hope for the best and see whether he plays or not. But if you, it's a don't buy, don't sell situation with Madison. Um, for anyone who has Madison, keep him. Anyone who doesn't have Madison, wait. See how the game goes. And if he starts, or if he comes off off the bench, then you can look to buy him for next week. Um, the rest of your team, by the way, uh, Rian is... Rian, I would probably... Uh, this is a tough one, but you most likely have to start Johnston over Turner. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, would you though? I also don't mind giving Turner a go. You never know with United. Could be a pretty bad game for United, but given that you're starting two United attackers, I don't mind moving Johnston on. You you can roll the transfer honestly. Um and go into game week four with two free transfers. You'll be in a pretty solid position. I think your team looks good as well, to be honest. So I'm happy with this team. You can just keep it as it is. Roll the transfer. And go to game week four with two free transfers. And then you can kind of decide on game week four. You can look to move Martinelli out for a Foden. Honestly, if you want, you can even move Martinelli out this week for a Foden. Uh, if you wanted to use another transfer this week, you can do Martinelli to Foden. Or you can roll it and do Martinelli to Foden next week. Uh, alongside deciding to move either one of Bruno Fernandes or Rashford out as well, potentially. Um with the two free transfers if you go if you roll it next week so you could look you look to do something like that as well um start madison or is it oh that is a very good question hmm
in this specific case, I would go for Eze because there's a better chance of Eze starting and playing 90 minutes or close to 90 minutes than Madison playing close to 90 minutes. So I would probably lean towards Eze, Evan. Um, start Eze, yes, Eze. Will, yep. Uh, which three to start out of White, Chilwell, Estupin, and Henry? Henry. Uh, you start Ben White, you start Chilwell, and you start Estupin. That's probably what I would do. Ooh, actually, yeah, that's probably what I would do. White, Chilwell, and Estupin. Um, Alright, so that was Amit's team. Uh, Amit, you good with the questions? Uh, sorry, that was not Amit, that's Rian's team. I hope he's good with the questions. Uh, by the way, let's say Bruno and Rashford blank. Which one would you remove? If Bruno and Rashford blank... I'll answer that question on Tuesday after I've seen the game. Because I want to see what Rashford does on the left wing first. Uh, because there is a chance that Rashford actually plays on the left wing. So I want to see what Rashford does on the left wing. By the way, I should remind people. Last season, Rashford started poorly. Game week 3, they played Liverpool. He scored. Game week 4, they played Arsenal. He came away with two goals, I think, if I was not mistaken. So, or a goal and assist win against Arsenal, if I wasn't mistaken. So, let's see how he does against Forest, and then we'll kind of decide after that. Uh, plans for next week? Honestly, I am at the moment not sure. Would you start Henry or Udogi for this week? Ooh... I would give Udogi a try. Just oh, actually no, you don't even have a Brentford cover, no. Brentford are the home team, no. Uh, yeah, you can start Rico Henry. I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference. Both are very attacking fullbacks. One is playing at away. Uh, Spurs are playing away. Rico Henry at home. You could try Rico Henry and see. I don't mind that. Uh, Mehidi Saim, welcome to the football chat box. Can you ask a question? Yes, you can. Feel free to ask a question. Uh, United defense, clean sheet odds in your opinion. Without Shaw. Pretty weak. Uh, oh, actually. Because Dalot will play in that position now. Dalot will play left back. Clean sheet odds, I would say... I think United's defense in general is alright. It's not too bad. Uh, it's the attack that's dysfunctional and the midfield that's dysfunctional. And now that Mount is injured, you never know. It could actually help United in terms of Mount being injured because Ericsson will come in. Ericsson, Bruno and Casemiro is a slightly better midfield in terms of functionality over Mount, uh, Bruno and Casemiro at the moment. So maybe it might be a bit better. I don't mind it. All right, Amit, let me go. Uh... How many, which three, am I missing questions? If I miss questions, please let me know. Ruhil, I will get your question as well. This is yours. I will bring that up as well. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me close these teams. Uh, Aryan, I answered. Uh, Blues, Ryan. Okay, Amit, you're next. Uh, Ruhil, after that. Uh, which I don't know which position I'm on your league, Manish. If you were to look, uh, on your leagues over here, you'll find the football chat box league, and it'll tell you where you are in terms of your number. Um, Mehidi, did I answer your question? Uh, Mbemo or Chubal or Saka, captain? Who is better? I would go for Saka. He has the better fixture out of all of them. Oh, well, Fulham at the moment aren't... Ooh. Okay, here's one thing I will add. Paulinia is back for Fulham, which does help Fulham defensively because they are a complete mess without him. And last season, they were a complete mess without him when he got injured. So him coming back for Fulham does actually boost Fulham in terms of them being a bit better. But I still think Arsenal is the better team, so I would probably go for Paul, uh, for Saka in this case. Uh, who should I sub out of Saka, Odegaard, Rashford, Diaby, Watkins, Alvarez? Can you not sub out anyone? Or oh, you mean do you have to start like all of them? Uh, I would probably move Diaby. Diaby is the one I would sub. I would like bench if you had to do this thing. Chilwell kept better? No. <laughs> Alright, Amit. 
Let's have a look at the team and I'll come to the rest of the questions quickly. Give me a second, guys. All right, this is Amit's team. Amit, what were you planning on doing? You have to use one free transfer, right? I would probably move Gakpo out, don't you think? Gakpo to, let's say, a Jackson for one free transfer and roll the second free transfer, probably. Uh, you could start Gabriel and hope for the best, most likely, obviously, and probably start Onana as well. Uh, what do you think, Amit? Um, Rohan, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you back with the stream. Thank you. Could you quickly look at my team? 11th, 111th, and I have one free transfer. Okay, let me load it up. Uh, plan A is Gakpo to Jackson, Visa, and Luis is to Guardiola. Oh, yeah. You said the plan A, right? Do plan A. I like plan A. Plan A sounds good. But wait, wait, wait. Who are you going to play? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you're starting Guardiola over Gabriel. Yeah, that's fair enough. Do plan A. Do plan A. I like plan A. Um, plan A is good. All right. Let me... I like your plan A. Let me go to... Let me load up uh, Rohan's team. And then we'll look at uh, um, Ruhil's team as well. All right, Rohan. That's your team. Let me load it here. Uh, let me go to Ruhil's team. Uh, and Ruhil, you've got... Oh, you have Risa on the bench. Ooh, I wouldn't bench Risa. Why are you benching Risa? Oh, you benching Rashford as well. Oh, no. Okay. I would probably start Rashford over Rico Henry. Surely you've got to start Rashford if you have him against Forrest. You either start Rashford or you start Visa. One of the two. You don't play a back four when you have attackers on the bench. <laughs> I would start one of your attackers. Uh, Ruhil. Why are my messages getting removed? They're getting removed? Really? I can see everything here. Why is it getting removed? I can see your messages here. Are they getting removed? I can't see. Uh, Shubharan, how are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. 40, 50 in the mini league. Yes, let me load it up as well. How are you doing, Shubharan? Uh, here we go. Um, would I start Henry or Rudogi? I answered that. Plans for next week, Rian? I, honest, uh, I probably have to see how the games go. Uh, Mwemo in for Fernandez and uh, I think I'll answer that, yes. Who should I sub out? I think, okay, Luis, I answered your question, right? Uh, Kevin, how are you doing? Thoughts on Leon Bay? I mean, you can start him this week, I don't mind it, but depends on who else you have in your teams. If you have better players in your teams, I don't mind starting them ahead of Leon Bay this week, but... um. If you don't have Leon Bay, Leon Bay, I wouldn't go chasing to get him in straight away though. Why am I getting ignored? Why are you getting ignored? You're not getting ignored. Silver cap better? Start is it? This is your team, right? Ah, uh, what's happening? I am confused. Uh, two free transfers, point five in the bag, planning to use both. Fair enough. Jackson or Visa in planet? Yep. Uh... H3M, welcome, welcome, and ARG, and one second, okay, let me read Ruhil. Rashford instead of Rico Henry. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably do that. Uh, Ruhil, I think Rashford over Rico Henry, I would probably start, yeah. I think that's uh, a good plan, honestly. I would try that. Uh, Rashford over um, Rico Henry, to be honest. Who should I replace Gabriel with, Romero or Pedro Porro? The fixtures seem great. Shall I uh, interest you in their left-back option in terms of uh, Udogi? I think he's also a really good option uh, from Spurs if you wanted to. Um, otherwise, you could go to a 4 million Chelsea defender in Gustav. He should be playing until Rich James is back. Uh, the other option is a Rico Henry from Brentford. So you've got three options in like the 4.5 to 4 million price bracket. Uh, Mwemo in for Fernandez and Visa in for Archer for a hit or roll and give Fernandez one last chance. Roll and give Fernandez one last chance. 
Wait, but if you roll and give Fernandez one last chance, you can't get visa, right? Then you have to move Pedro. I mean Pedro out f- to get visa, right? ARG. But I don't mind giving Fernandez one last chance. Gakpo to Jackson, visa or Alvarez? Gakpo to Jackson, visa or Alvarez? I would go Jackson. Fixtures, you have to play the fixtures. Sometimes they say fixtures breed form. And we're going to hope that fixtures breed form in this case. Uh, start Isaac or Pedro from Brighton? Ooh, that's a very good question. That's a tough one. I would probably go Isaac. Probably Isaac. Uh, who would you start, Saliba or Joe Pedro? See, I always say start the attacker. And that's usually been my case in terms of how I approach things. But because of Joe Pedro's minutes risk, I would probably go Saliba in this case. Uh, all right, Ruhil, what are you thinking? Ashford over uh, Rico Henry? How's Does that sound good? Uh, and I'll keep it open while you reply back. And this is Rohan. Wow, Rohan, what are we looking at? How are we going to fix this? What's the plan, Rohan? Tell me. Talk to me. Where are you? What is your plan? Uh, one free transfer. You went all in on Newcastle, didn't you? Um, okay, one free transfer. I think you use your one free transfer... Ooh, I won't mind starting Solanke if you want to risk it. I don't mind it. Or at least put him higher up on the bench. Put Solanke first bench if you can. Uh, actually, I don't mind starting Solanke over Almiron as well. Bowen, yeah, you can kind of keep. Okay, here's the thing. You could potentially, because you kind of have, I mean, you could, you could move, how much is billion? 5.4. How much is Bowen? Now Bowen has a good fixture next week, so keep him for one more. Amron. I will probably. Alright, here's the thing. How much money do you have in the bank? Nothing. Sad life. Rip. Alright, I will probably start Solanke over Almiron for this week and roll the free transfer and like sort it out in game week four. That's probably what I would do, Rohan. I go for a new keeper or what are the oh you have a Fulham keeper no this is not looking good for two weeks but the others it's not too bad yeah oh okay you have a 5 million keeper yes please move Kepa away you're wasting money on the bench okay Kepa has got to go um, so Kepa has got to go and I would switch him you can either go to a Brentford keeper in Flecken you can go to a 5 million keeper you can go to Spurs different Spurs keeper as well in Vicario that's another option 5 million if you wanted the same price bracket that's another option for anyone looking for a 5 million keeper uh, Vicario is another one uh, Flecken you could go back to another Chelsea keeper in Sanchez if you wanted to um, if you wanted to go all the way to 4 million you got the West Ham keeper, although honestly, looking at West Ham's fixtures, I probably won't do it. So you have Flecken, Vicario, Sanchez. Three keepers to pick from, probably, for the moment. Um, Archer out for Visa, not Joe. I can afford the transfer as getting Embraer in first will give me enough money with one million. Ah, okay. Fair enough, ARG. You can do that move then. I don't mind it. I think Brentford are a good team. And while they're on form, I don't mind taking advantage of the fact that while they're on form. Although, Crystal Palace are no mugs. They won't go pushovers, but I think it's worth trying it out and seeing. Uh, but does that mean you have to get rid of Fernandez? That's what I want to know. Who would you start? Saliba or Joe Pedro? Oh, I answered that. Uh, okay, I think I answered everything. Who is remaining? Okay, Ruhil. Waiting on Ruhil. Where Shubhran, 
while we wait for Rohan, I'll go to Shubharan. I hope you're still here. Roller transfer? Oh, actually, you have to use one free transfer, right? Move Gabriel out to... How much money in the bank? Zero. Ah, damn it. Okay, you could do Martinelli to Foden if you wanted to. Or you can keep Martinelli for this week. I don't mind that. Um, and then you could move Gabriel to a city defender if you wanted to. Like a Ruben Diaz. Will that give enough money? No, no. 4.9. Ruben Diaz is 5 point this thing. It'll be 0 0.1 short. You'll have to like move Bruno Fernandes out. But I would love to play this midfield this week. I don't mind it. So maybe Gabriel to a 4.5 or a 4 million defender, like Luis Gustav, if you wanted even a Luis Gustav, that's a possibility. Uh, or you could go to a Rico Henry. That's a possibility as well. Oh, actually, you can just start Udogi this week if you wanted to. Uh, but you can still use a transfer to clear up some funds, to be honest. You know what you can do? Um, Shubharan? Assuming, let's say, you want to play a Gab you can move the Gabriel, you can do the Gabriel move now and move it to another defender to free up some funds if you wanted. Or you can move one of your 4 million defenders like Kabore to a four million, another 4 million in Luis Gusto and play that. Uh, G, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Science, yo, welcome as well. Uh, Zinchenko or Saliba, Akanji or Guardiol? Walker team, so longer term. Uh, Saliba and... Guardiol. I would go for Guardiol. Saliba and Guardiol. Uh, how are you doing, G? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I will get rid of Kepa then. Ramsdale, Vicario or Ariola. What do you suggest? I would go Vicario. Because ever Arsenal's fixtures are a mixed bag. And while you have a David Rea size keeper in Arsenal, I would not want to try having Ramsdale in my team if you're doing like a keeper transfer. If you already have him, you keep him until he loses his spot. But I wouldn't go for him. I'd rather go for it like an Arsenal defender like a Saliba or someone. Vicario, I don't mind if you don't have a Spurs defender already. Uh, why did... What happened to G? Oh, you're good. How come your message get retracted? Is is the messages just like getting removed or is there something wrong? Uh, oh, wait. Huh. Uh, option 1. Embraer in for Fernandez. Option two, Embraer in for Fernandez and Visa in for a hit. Option three, roll to add both Brentford players next game week. I don't mind option three as well. ARG, I actually don't mind option three. It might give you a different perspective as well next week. You never know. Because I think Crystal Palace is still a decent team. I don't think Brentford are going to run all over them, to be honest. So I don't mind rolling as well. But I'm not against doing the hit this week if you wanted to. I don't know how it could pay off, but I'm not sure. Um, Kepa, okay, so Kepa, I think Vicario is probably the option to go for given Spurs' up like They have two tough games against Arsenal and Liverpool. The rest, at least until game week 12, should be decent for cleans. Even if you don't get cleans, you probably get a lot of save points. Do you think Watkins or, or Gabriel will play this week? Watkins should play. I don't see any reason why Watkins won't play. I think he got 73 minutes because they were having a midweek fixture, European fixture. He should play this week. I don't see why he won't play. Uh, Gabriel, it seems like he will play according to the predictors. And I can kind of see why because they'll probably play Zinchenko left back. Which means Ben White could go to right back. Um, and then you can play Gabriel and Saliba in the center back. So Gabriel might play, but it's a risk. So just be ready to accept a Gabriel one-pointer if it happens. Like if he gets benched. Alright, Ruhil, 
Rohan and Shubharan. Are you guys all good with your teams? Before I close it. And uh, also Amit. Amit, did you reply? You said Gakpo to Jackson or Visa, right? I said I suggested Jackson. Got to tra got to target that Luton Town fixture man. Over the Crystal Palace fixture. I I hopefully I have replied to everyone's questions. And I haven't missed out anyone. If I have missed out someone, please let me know. And I'll answer it again. Yep, all good. Sweet. Uh... Uh, Alright. Mm. Just reading some stuff. Two will captain. You could try it, but honestly, if you have like a Harlan, I would go for a Harlan. I saw a stat that Chelsea haven't kept a clean sheet in the last 11 games or something out of all 20 Premier League teams. Crazy stat, eh? Any news on Chelsea lineup? Let me have a look actually. Good question, good question. Let's have a look. And if you guys, if I have read everyone's questions, please let me know. Uh. Da, 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 da. Nothing at the moment. Could you check my team? 16 in the league. Planning on benching Shaw and Gabriel to Saliba. Yeah, that's fair enough. That sounds good. Those moves. Uh, oh, jeez, no? Here we go. Alright. So, Shaw... Bench? Yep. Shaw is going to be out for some time, huh? I honestly don't mind moving Shaw out as well, to be honest, if you wanted to. Just transfer Shaw out for, like, another... You could. You know what you can do? You can even transfer Shaw to uh, even a city defender if you wanted to. Like a Ruben Diaz. Because you have the exact money. You can go Shaw to Ruben Diaz if you wanted to. That's a possibility. Uh, this is un just unfortunate what to do. Uh, yeah, you could probably you could transfer one or if you wanted to. And not just go for the Arsenal defender. Because let's say you're doing Gabriel to Saliba, right? Next week, Arsenal will play United. So you probably have to start Saliba. Instead, I don't mind moving to a City defender, Ruben Diaz. Because Ruben Diaz plays Fulham next week. So you have a better, at least, defender option to play for a clean sheet. So I probably would do that. What do you think? Bench one, Pedro, Henry, Madison, Salah. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the risk on this and I will say Rico Henry. Actually, no, it'll have to be one one of Pedro or Madison, actually, because both of them are minutes risk. So, mm. given that we've heard that Madison only started training today, what are the chances that he's fit to play tomorrow? Do you think he'll be risked? I don't know if he'll be risked. Uh, 
I probably probably bench Madison. Probably. It's between Madison and Pedro Roku. Who do you want to pick? Do you see owning Ramsdale as a potential risk in the future because of Rhea? Uh, yes, potentially, but that is if you already have Ramsdale, just keep him. And when he becomes that risk, then we'll think about it. But for now, don't think about it. If you don't have Ramsdale, don't go to go and get him. I wouldn't do that. I would not go and get him. I will, if you have him already, keep him. And when he becomes the risk, then you can think about it. Team is Chilwell. Uh, Oliver, welcome. Team is Chilwell. Solvil, Diaz, Estupinan, Saka. Mm -hmm. Odegaard, Rashford, Bruno, Mitoma, Haaland, Jackson. Which one should be benched? Oh, I will probably bench uh, Colville in this specific situation. It will have to be one of the defenders and I will probably bench Colville. So you don't have double Chelsea defense. And if they clean, they clean. At least if they concede a goal, you don't lose both clean sheets at the same time. So I would go for Colville. And he also, he's like the... Like, stupid and is more attacking than Colville. Diaz... Better chances of clean sheets than Coville. Uh, Madison, I got him this week instead of Foden. We'll start him ahead of Pedro. Alright, cool. Fair enough. Thoughts on differential captain since Harlan is obvious one. Should I take the risk? Who do you have? Wait, I had your team up. Time. Your differential captaincy option is potentially a Saka or a Jackson. But I wouldn't take a risk given that you already have quite a lot of differential players in your team. So I wouldn't take a risk because of that. Because if your differential players, the ones that you already have, if they do do well, then you actually you'll boost your rank regardless. So I would just go with the safer captain pick and hope that your differential, like you have a lot of Newcastle and all differential, even Bowen is a differential. So you have a lot of differential players auditing your team. So let them do the work in terms of raising your rank and keep the captaincy pick a bit safe this week. Akanji or Diaz or Walker or Ake? I don't, oh, Diaz is the safest pick. From City Defense. I'll probably go Ruben Diaz first. Second, I, I don't mind trying Guardiola, to be honest. If you wanted to. It's either him or Walker. Since Walker is a City captain. But I think Diaz is probably the safest pick. Uh, appreciate that. No worries, Oliver. Uh, nice suggestions. Thanks. No worries. We just need to, so it's, a, it's basically an eye, uh, trying to, um, it's diversifying your risk and identifying where your sh sword and shields are. Your shield pick is your Haaland captain. Your swords, you do have quite a lot of swords in here. Trippier is already a sword. Um, Guardiola is a sword compared to other city defenders. Uh, Almiron, Solanke, I think you were starting Solanke, right? Solanke is also a sword. Uh, Bowen is a sword, so you have enough swords and your keeper as well. So, oh wait, you were doing a keeper, keeper transfer, right? Yeah. So if you're doing a keeper transfer, whoever you're bringing in, you probably start that keeper over oh, well, Leno this week, I think. Uh so yeah, so you got quite a lot of swords already, to be honest. Um, Soccer TV, welcome, Zachariah, welcome. Uh, Foden or Salah? Foden for this week. Uh, Sam, how are you doing? Who are you captaining? Is Madison playing? I don't know if Madison is playing. Uh, this is my team. Um, I honestly don't know if he's actually going to play Madison. Um, I highly doubt it because he trained today. If he trained today, I don't know how fit he's going to be in one day of training ahead of the match day tomorrow. So I don't know if he, he will be fit enough. But if you already have him, I wouldn't sell him. Uh, if you don't have him, I wouldn't buy him. I would wait and see. That's the way, that's the kind of situation I'm in with regards to Madison. Rolling transfer gang. Oh yeah, how many people here are rolling transfers? Unfortunately, I'm not rolling. I'm actually... 
I used both my transfers. If you can roll, you are in a you are in a good position actually. Uh Let me see if I can find in Chelsea picks. Chelsea, 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 nothing yet, guys. Will Gabriel start? Potentially, potentially, uh, that's what every uh, that's was rumored. So I think potentially he will start. Uh, but I wouldn't put your house. I wouldn't put your house. Uh, put your house on it. <laughs> with regards to Gabriel I'll start in, he might start. But if he doesn't, just be prepared for like a one pointer. Prepare yourself for a one pointer appearance. Forty six in the league. Let's have a look. All right, let me close some of this so I can clean up my tabs and have a look at Ate. Here we go. I actually left Solanke on the bench as I got Vicario, and that's a deadlock. Ah. Kind of makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, short to Akanji. Yeah, I don't mind that. You could also do short to Ruben Diaz, one of the two. Uh, I think Diaz is slightly safer, but I don't mind Akanji as well. Alright, this is Ate's team. Oh, you already have Akanji. What am I not talking? Yeah, so you start Akanji. So are you benching? Okay, so what? You can do short the chill well, right? Surely now that you don't have like you have the money just sitting there, surely? Yes, one point five. Short the chill well, right? Surely. And then start chill well this week. What do you think? I think that kind of makes sense, don't I? Don't you think? Got to try that, right? Zachariah? How's the captaincy going? Saka has nothing. Fair enough. With Pauline with Pauline here back, I actually think that helps us. I mean Fulham a bit. Jackson has quite a few. Jackson and Schubert. Interesting. And other as well. One hour to go, people. One hour to go. One hour to go. Great suggestion, fair enough. No worries. Hopefully it pays off because I also have children and I would like to do the same. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna try and get this. What does he say here? Hold on. Let me switch this audio to my I can't hear it for you guys. No, what did I do? Give me a second. Hmm. What do you guys think we should do with Joe Pedro? Ah, Joe Pedro is a okay. Here's the thing. I'll let you guys also decide on this, right? Uh, I saw this video. What do you take away from this? Let's let me bring it up for you guys. Oh, this is. You guys can probably hear this, right? Hold on. Let me bring it up. My last question. Um, lots of fans are excited about. Evan Ferguson and obviously Chao Pedro coming in this season as well. Maybe with Julio's injury, do you see maybe the two of them potentially playing together? Tomorrow, uh, Ferguson plays in first eleven. Okay, it's good to know. Great, thank you. My last question: um, Lots of fans are excited about. <laughs> My last question. 
What do you take of that? Do you think that Pedro won't start? Do you guys think that Pedro won't start because of that? Oliver says, team is Chilwell, Colville, Diaz, Estupin and Saka, Odegaard, Rashford, Bruno, Mitoma, Haaland, Jackson. Which one should be benched? Colville. I would go for Colville, Oliver. I thought I answered that. Did something happen to my questions? Did my stream crash? Please say no. Stream is fine. Stream is fine. There we go. All right. What did you guys think about that Deserby presser? Do you guys think Pedro starts, Pedro doesn't start? I'm wondering what to do with Pedro at the moment. What's your top four prediction this season? City probably win the league. Arsenal second. Third and fourth is uncertain at the moment. Uh, third and fourth, I don't know. It depends on how everyone does it, like the cups and everything. I would go... I won't be surprised if Spurs manage to get one of the top four spots. So I'll go for maybe United third and Spurs fourth. I don't know. We'll see. I think one of the non-European teams are going to get that fourth spot. Potentially. Rashford, to Bru Rashford or Bruno to Foden and Weimar this week or wait after the game after Forest. I'd probably give the Forest game but if you want I don't mind moving... Potentially a Bruno to a Foden this week. I don't mind doing that as well this week. Uh, Mohamed, how are you doing? I have NCCO um, and need to transfer him out. Do you think it's worth getting Sterling instead as of Mbemo as something different? Yeah, you could try that. I don't mind it. Give it a go and see because fixtures are good. I don't mind trying it. Short Chilva, uh, start Akanji. Who should I bench? Good question. Got to be Ben White, no? Don't you think? Probably White, right? Out of the defense. You'd probably want to give your attack, all your attackers a go, right? So I think Ben White in this specific situation. Is it dumb to start Turner over Pickford for save points? I wouldn't call it dumb, to be honest. I wouldn't say it's dumb. Uh, but don't you think that Everton could also get those save points, potentially? Given that Wolves have been very attacking? Or do you think that Pickford is not going to get you a clean sheet? I don't mind giving Pickford a go. I wouldn't call it dumb, though. No. What is the overall captain percentage? Haaland followed by Haaland. Well, in the poll, it seems like Haaland and then it's a Chelsea player after that. Um, and I think even on like the fantasy football scout, 
website here Haaland is leading the vote with Chilwell and Jackson so it seems like how we're going in the poll on YouTube it's the same way that some other picks are also going by the looks of things um so this is the first one is Haaland the second one is Chilwell that you see 7.93 Jackson's third 5.51 and Saka fourth I'm Frank, got to work for a while, and I have Chelsea's match to watch later. Hope they win today. Chubal and Jackson on sheets. Thanks. And see ya. No worries, Rohan. See ya. Thank you, thank you. See ya, see ya. I don't think Joe Pedro will start, but not sure. Yeah, that's what I used to keep thinking. Should I start Garnacho? Or do I start Udogi instead of Joe Pedro? Hmm. So many questions. I'm not really convinced by Joe Pedro. That's the one problem. Reckon uh, they'll concede the only goal from the only shot at the 19th minute. Who? You mean uh, Everton? <laughs> Fair enough. Then if you think like that, then yeah, go for go for Turner. Uh, many are moving away from Martinelli. Any reasons? Is it minutes? Yeah, mainly minutes. Mainly minutes is a problem. That's why I think a lot of people move in. And also given like the likes of Ford and Mbemo performing, so that's why. Marcia could start this game. Yeah, I, I think he will. What to do, what to do. I think Joe Pedro potentially doesn't start. But even in 33 minutes, he got 0 0.16 XG. Which is not too bad. They need the shots on here. All right. While we're looking for that, let me look for some Chelsea rumors if we can find any. Uh, I would love if Madison was like fit, then I would have just done Garnacho to Madison and like benched Pedro. Or I, would, I don't even mind going for Visa. I can do the Visa move as well if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Which transfer did you make this week? Um, I did Salah out to Embremo, and I did Archer to Jackson with my two free transfers. That's why I did with my two free transfers. I, I'm looking for some Chelsea news, if we can find it. Meanwhile, let's see what else we can find. Probably might just give Joe Pedro a go and see, because I don't have Mitoma as well, so probably try it and hope for the best. Is probably the case, I guess. Hmm. I have to bench one out of these eight. Uh, Cannon Fodder, welcome. And Mike, how are you doing, Mike? Long time, no see. Uh, Sterling versus Mwemo. I don't, I like, M I think Mwemo 
I prefer because it's on penalties. So I prefer MWMO over penalties. Uh, but Sterling, you can give it a go if you want to be different. I don't mind that as well. Uh, but I prefer MWMO slightly, to be honest. But if you wanted to be different, I think there was a question before as well in regards to those two and trying to be different. If you want to be different, then yeah, you can try Sterling and see. But yeah. Uh, Canon Fodder, how are you doing? Welcome to the football chat box. I have to bench one out of these eight. Saka, uh, Mr. Blanky, how are you doing as well? Welcome. Uh, Saka, Rashford, Bruno, Mwemo, Mitoma, Haaland, Watkins, and Jackson. Oh my god. How do you bench one of those players? Uh, Alright, let's look at this objectively. Watkins... Playing a Burnley team away. Jackson to Luton probably has to play. Haaland has to play. Mitoma in the most attacking team of the league. Got to play. Down to Saka, Rashford, Bruno, Mwemo, and Watkins. Mwemo playing for Brentford on pins. Second most attacking team. Saka potentially on pins. Watkins, Bruno, Rashford. Bench Bruno, no? Yeah, I probably would also agree with Sam. Probably benching Bruno cannon fodder in that specific situation. Aston Villa versus Burnley. You have to start Villa in this case. Yeah, I think probably Bruno. The tough one though, that one. Uh, Mr. Blanky, how are you doing? How's your day been? Uh, play Rico Henry or White? Probably Ben White. Slightly better clean sheet odds. Martinelli, Bruno, Rashford for four in this week or wait, at, wait for another week? I don't mind doing Martinelli to four in this week if you wanted to. Five on three. I don't mind doing that, honestly. Martinelli or oh, even a Bruno Fernand or uh, Bruno. I might hold Bruno, but I don't mind Martinelli. Ah, uh, no, what am I talking? It's Fulham as well still. Mm. Hold, hold, wait and see. Go into next week with two free transfers. Benching Bruno hurts my soul, I know, right? All those match times are dreadful. Fair play to staying up at this late. Thank you, thank you. It is, it is indeed dreadful times. Uh, all right, here's the thing. The other option, uh, Sam, is you probably bench Watkins because he's away. So you look at the United players at home, Arsenal at home, uh, Brentford at home. Who is the other one that you asked? Um, Jackson at home obviously Harlan at home Mitoma at home Watkins is the only away player out of the entire list that you asked so then I don't mind benching Watkins as well so you pick between Bruno and Watkins and who you want to like kind of bench guess it's possible for Martin to play 60 minutes then get sub yeah yeah that probably might happen why are you starting Udogi they keep clean sheet against United they must pro most probably will against Bournemouth. You mean why am I not starting Udogi? Over Should I start Udogi over Joe Pedro? True, I could probably start Udogi over Joe Pedro. Uh, well, they kept a clean sheet against United, but I would say they were kind of lucky to keep a clean sheet against United, don't you think? If I watched the game, I thought United should have scored. At least in one goal, they should have scored. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep. Thanks, Ryan. Have a good, great uh, game week. No worries, G. Thank you for joining. Uh, do I wish you the best as well for game week three, and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, why not starting? Uh, I thought Pedro might play, so I went for the attacker over the defender. That's the main reason why. Also, I wasn't sure at the time, like... Spurs and Madison not fit and all. How they'll be. Where do I live? I'm in Australia. 
Cannon fodder, yes. Um, all right, I'll let you guys decide. Udogi or Joe Pedro, what to do? Who to start? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Alright, the Samurai, welcome, welcome, welcome. Should people get rid of Rashi or Bruno if they don't return this week? Yeah, I probably will. If you have both, I will get rid of one, most likely. If they don't return this week, yep. You've given them three game weeks, and if they look nowhere close to doing anything like in terms of returning points, then yeah, makes sense. How are you doing, Salad the Samurai? How's your day been? I'm still trying to wonder whether Pedro starts or not. What do you guys think? Start Pedro and hope for the best? start Udogi who will probably get more minutes than Pedro. In my case, it's between Udogi, Colville or Joe Pedro. Already have Silva. So Colville is most likely getting minutes for sure. Colville is getting the most minutes out of those three. Because he's most likely going to play, right? So it's Colville, the most minutes against Luton Town. The question is, do you want to double up on Chelsea defense? If they accidentally lose the clean sheet, then it's a bit of a problem. Now, Udogi versus Gabriel. Udogi. I would go for Udogi in that specific case. Um, Udogi or Joe Pedro? That's the same question that I have. Udogi or Joe Pedro? A uh, million dollar question. Joe Pedro or Udogi? Uh, so hard, man. What do you guys think? Should I go for Udogi? Play Henry or White? I would go for White. Slightly higher chance of keeping a clean sheet than Rico Henry, don't you think? I'm giving one more shot to Gabriel, please, after the starting. Fair enough. Well, I'm giving one more shot to Joe Pedro in this case. I wonder what will happen. We'll see. Mm, all right, we'll see how things go with Mr. Joe Pedro. Don't know what's going to happen. Because if he doesn't start, then it's Newcastle and United. And after that, he's just like a annoying, tough one. Arsenal's fixtures, United, then they got Everton, Spurs, Bournemouth, City. Not an easy run. Because Gabriel Hesus is back, so I was wondering what to do. Who will go for Kudos or JWP? Ooh. That's a very tempting one. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how Kudos works in this West Ham team. 
Wait on it. Wait on it. He's not even in the game. We don't know what his price is. Do we? Is he in the game? I don't think he's in the game, right? Yeah, he's not in the game. Wait for his price to come up. NCC is definitely injured. Uh, and probably out for a couple months. Yep. So there's a chance Joe Pedro will start. See, that's what I'm hoping. But you never know with this Mm. Okay, we'll give it a we'll give it a go. See how things go. Udogi is starting next week for sure in my team. Are you gonna change your captain? Or I confirm going uh, definitely going with Haaland. No changing captaincy. Uh but I am ready. I'm really keen on jumping on Gabriel Hesus train early. When is early though? I've been thinking about the Gabriel Hesus one, which is why I haven't gone fully on Visa yet as well. Do you go for like Everton at that time? In game week five, or do you go somewhere else? I don't know, cause by that time you also have Isak and everyone as well. Uh, give next six transfer. Got two free transfers. If I roll the transfer, so you have two free transfers this week. If you have two free transfers this week, use one. Uh, cause if you don't use one, then it just gets burned. And you won't get the transfer up. So I would use one and then roll the other if you can. Uh, United should have signed Kudos. No money, unfortunately. The United are in a position where they need to sell to buy. They can't even buy Amrabat for like 20 million or something. How are they going to buy Kudos for like 45 million? Uh, is a quality player personally? Ah, okay. You mean instead of Mount? Yeah, probably. Uh, United don't have a really good recruitment team. They're a very bad recruitment team. Should I lock it in? Salah to Foden? Pedro to Jackson? I would do that right now, to be honest. Yeah, I would do it. I would do it. Yeah, makes sense. Pedro at the moment is like an uncertainty that I just don't mind getting rid of. 513, can you rephrase the question? Because I don't know if I got you correct in terms of what you said, so exactly said. No money? Yeah, no money. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. The thing with United is the FFP problems. It's not like they don't have money, it's that they're stuck with FFP because of very badly spent. Because of how badly they've spent, they are stuck with FFP. Can I see your team? This is my team. Uh, bench, Madison or Pedro? Uh, I would... Pedro. Probably bench Pedro in that case. The more I think about it, because Madison is a bit more important to Spurs. If he's fit, probably start, or they won't risk him at all, is what I'm thinking. Pedro, I'm just so uncertain, man. I don't even know. At this point, Pedro has as good number of minutes of playing as Ghana does. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just don't want bench in headaches, but here I am stuck with one. Um, yeah, I'll probably go for Pedro. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Madison. No, no. The sleep is kicking in. Half an hour more, people. Half an hour more. Make sure to hit your lock your teams. Make sure to lock those teams. And also hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. No worries, my question is kind of silly. No, 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 no. It's, don't worry, there's no silly question. So basically, here's the thing. With transfers and how it works. So if you have two free transfers now, now obviously I don't have two free transfers because I've used it, right? But if you had two free transfers now, 
Um, one will get rolled over to next week. The other will get burned this week. So if you don't use your both, if you don't use either one of your two free transfers, then you just waste a free transfer basically, and the other one just get carried over. At most, you can always carry over one free transfer. So if you have two this week, I would try and if you wanted to use one, I would try and use one to try and fix any issues you have in your team. But if you have zero like me this week, that means next week you get to one free transfer. Uh, play three: Brentford, Visa, Embraer, Henry. You want to play all three? I don't mind playing. Uh, depends on who. Who are you starting Henry over? In terms of your defense, banjo. Who else is in your defense? But I don't mind playing all three if you wanted to. Apologies, faced a power card. Possible to do team review. Yes, no worries. Good to see you back. Uh, Shubhan, where were you again? Forty-five, you said no. Here we go. Okay, yeah, what did I say to you? I said. Oh yeah, I looked at your team and you. I, okay, what I recommended was let me go back to the price. No money in the bank. Uh, that you could potentially go to a 4.5 defender if you wanted to, right? You could go to a 4.5 defender um, as one option, like a Rico Henry, or you could go to a Chelsea 4 million Gustav, right? That's another option that you can try and do. Uh, Gabriel to a Gustav, or you can try and play Gabriel and hope for the best. That's another possibility. Or oh, actually, I would probably play Udogi in that case. Over Gabriel, potentially. Um, or you could move Martinelli to a Foden. You could do Martinelli to a Foden if you wanted to. If you really wanted a City player. So those are a couple options that you can try and do. Uh, Will, welcome, 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 welcome. How are you doing? Um, I am doing well. Any team news? Uh, nothing at the moment, but I will have a look. I'm trying something different. Add Diaby or add Richarlison or add Kulusevski. Can't go so still. I don't mind trying Kulusevski. Potentially. Otherwise... You are you mean you're looking for a midfielder, right? What is Villa, 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 Villa? Actually, no, wait, I take it back. I don't mind taking going for Diaby. Look at this fixture run, so beautiful. Yeah, probably Diaby. Try Diaby and see. It's between Diaby and Kulisevsky. Richarlison, honestly, I don't even know, man. Richarlison. <sighs> bit of a disappointment at times, so. Probably. Richard uh, Kulisevsky or Diaby? Uh, Sam. Uh, Banjo says Udogi. Ah, oh, Rico Henry over Udogi. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try it and see. Banjo, I don't mind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my main concern is still about should I do Estupinan to Diaz this week? Brighton are leaking many XGs and I'll probably do it next week anyways unless Estupinan scores against exactly. See, that's the thing. Both games, Estupinan hasn't kept a clean sheet but he's been on maximum, almost like maximum bonus and the guy is very attacking and probably should have had more points especially in game week one. So I probably just keep him this week, play him and next week you can decide on it. Bench one, Saliba, Akanji or Estupinan? Saliba, probably because Akanji, better chances of clean sheet. Estupinan, better chance of attacking returns. So Saliba. Uh, Orville plus Jackson plus Chowell over the next few weeks. Or do you think the triple up is overboard? Nah, I think the triple up is fine. It's not too bad, honestly. Look at the run. You probably, I don't mind tripling up until game week 8, to be honest. Team review, please. Yes, let me get it up. Uh, 
Uh, 20 in the mini league. All right, let me get yours as well up. So let's start with Luke. Where are you? Here you go. Onana in pyjamas. Love it. <laughs> and then we'll... Cos Costa Livramento Crisis. All right, let's go with Onana in pyjamas first. Chances of Saliba starting. Is there any update on Arsenal? I think uh, Saliba should be starting. He should be fine in terms of minutes. Don't worry about Saliba. Training in the mini league and start Udogi or Madison. Dogi in this specific case. Cheers, right? No worries. Five and three. All right. Luke, fifty-six. What a score! What are you planning on doing, Luke? I think you use one of your transfers this week, just one. But on who? It's one of the Arsenal or one of the United players, no? Martinelli to Foden? Luke, what do you think? Martinelli or Bruno Fernandes, one of the two, to Foden. What if Madison starts? Good point. Then take the... Then take... Then... Okay, here's the thing. If you have Madison, you have the option to take a risk and try it, start him, and see how things go. If he doesn't start, okay, he comes off the bench, maybe gets you a point. It is what it is. If you want, I mean, I don't mind risking it. Maybe Pickford to Sanchez. Yeah, that also works. But I like Pickford this week against Wolves. Surely it's got to be a chance for Everton to finally get a clean sheet. Do you think? Because I feel like there is not much upside on the people moves but you can try and do it Martin Lee playing a bad Fulham that's true but Fulham do have Paulinia back by the way Fulham do have Paulinia back so that helps Fulham a bit more um, but I think you would want to like next week you have two Arsenal going against two United and you can only remove two of them with your two free transfers I probably do one of Martinelli or Bruno Fernandes to Foden. Probably. But I'll let you decide on which one. How critical is Jackson this game big? I wouldn't say too critical. If you can get him, I don't mind getting him. If you can't get him and you want to wait one more week, it's fine. They have still a lot more good fixtures to go. Watkins just scored a hat-trick indeed, but the opposition wasn't great. Bench one. The Libra, Chilwell, or Madison? I would bench Madison there because of the minutes uncertainty. Sh Dom, how are you doing? Should I hold on to Watkins? Yeah, I probably will. And also thinking on Gabriel to Rico Henry. My team is saying... Yeah, give Rashford and Bruno one more chance. Yeah, I don't mind that. Alright, where is Dom? Here he is. Wolves average actually last... Yeah, yeah, that's true. I do agree. But isn't this guy injured? Uh, who was it? Was it Matthias Nunes or who was it injured? Um, Nunes bid... Someone was injured, no? For Wolves? I do agree though with the two extra thing. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, who was I looking for now? I was looking at Will's team and also Dom's team. All right, Will, this is your team. 67 points. Look at that flex of the points. What do you even do in this team? What was your plan, Will? Gabriel plus JP to Gusto plus Alvarez. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I would do that, yes. Fair enough. Cool. Sounds good, sounds good. Yes, yes, yes. I don't mind that. I think that makes, ex makes sense. Alvarez, love the pick. 
Um, leaning towards rolling the second. I yeah. If you can roll the second, I would roll the second. Do you suggest Watkins to Jackson or move Martinelli, Rashford, Bruno out with upgrading the third striker to Jackson next week? Probably the latter in terms of moving Martinelli, Rashford, Bruno out. I'll do that next week, yeah. I'll probably do the moving one of them out next week. If you can roll the second transfer, I would do it. Uh, 2-3-4-2-3-2-3-4-2-3. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mitoma or Diaby? For this week, Mitoma. If you mean bringing in, I wouldn't bring in Mitoma though. I think that boat has kind of sailed. But if you're starting, Mitoma. Uh, all right, Tom. Uh, what is Tom's team like? Rashford and Bruno last chance. Yes, fair enough. Gabriel to Rico Henry. Yep, that doesn't make sense. The rest of the team looks pretty good. And probably roll the second transfer, right? What do you think, Tom? Uh, did it before the price changes? Zero in the bank, solid downgrade. Probably happening soon. With Juan Jackson and Luis Diaz. Oh, you did it before the price changes. Fair enough. Yeah, I think the Salah... That's why I got rid of Salah. Because, like, I was looking at it and I was like... I can't keep looking at this, like... The rest of the players performing and have Salah and him at 12.5 and not performing according to a premium asset. Like, 5 points, 5 points every week is not worth value for money. So, yeah. Will Rico Lewis start and is Guardiola nil? Uh, Rico Lewis start? I don't think so. Is Guardiola nailed? I wouldn't say he's fully nailed, but seems like he's starting. Um, let me check actually. Alright, here's a Man City predicted lineup. Man City predicted lineup. How do you guys see this? Oh yeah, you can you can see it. So you got Edison, uh Ruben, Diaz, Guardiol, Walker, and Akanji, by the looks of it, as the back four. You got Rodri, Foden, Grealish, Haaland as a confirmed, and then the final spot is between Back four, one, two, three. For, and then Alvarez by the looks of it as well and then it's between Kovacic and Bernardo Silva for the final slot so yeah Rico Luis doesn't seem like it's just 20% in Rico Luis for the moment uh, Mitoma or Martinelli for MVMO Martinelli for the moment Starting Turner, Rashford and Bruno at the same time for hedging. Fair enough. Uh, thinking of rolling second transfer, not much I can change. Just hoping Bruno will perform. He's giving out good XGI. That's true. He is giving out good XGI. I would agree with that. He should have scored last week. That free header should have put that in the net. So yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. If you guys can roll, honestly, I think rolling could put you in a good advantage this week. Uh, Alright, let me look for some trans... I mean... Team news, if I can't find anything. Hmm. hmm. No news so far. Bruno even has... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. He does have high XG than uh, Rashford. Rashford's been pretty poor. So, 
so far we have nothing on Chelsea. Diaby or Martinelli? You mean to start this week? Martinelli. Just because of the fixture and also because Arsenal are the home team compared to Aston Villa who are away team. Uh, Alright. So far, no Chelsea leak. Nothing at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope, nothing. The only news is Jackson starts. And yeah. That's the only confirmed news at the moment, is it? I can't even find that. Who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy is. Someone just put Raheem Sterling starts, but I don't even know if that's true. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Alright, Sterling starts. Sterling starts. That's the news we get. Chilwell starts. Nicholas Jackson starts. Okay, there's your three. Raheem Sterling. Uh, Chilwell and Jackson. That's so far what I know. Uh, Pedro to Jackson or Richarlison, Gabriel to Guardiola, watching from South Africa. Nice! Welcome, welcome my friend to so. Uh, Pedro to Jackson, yeah, I would do it, honestly. I think I would do it if you can. Uh, Richarlison, or Rich I wouldn't go to, uh, Richarlison, I would go Pedro to Jackson. Um, Gabriel to Guardiola, yes, you can try that as well. I don't mind that, honestly. I think that puts you in a really good position for the upcoming weeks as well. Alright, so we got three players who are starting. Sterling, Chilwell, and Jackson for now. Anyone here was going with Sterling option? You've got yourself a possible player. Uh, so far, nothing on Colville though. I don't have Levi Colville news at the moment, unfortunately. Would you bench Gusto or start him over Saliba? I have Chuba. Ooh. To diversify risk, I would start Saliba. But if you wanted to take the punt, I would like to start Gustav because it could be very interesting if he gets an attack in return. Because if I'm not mistaken, Luton were pretty, uh, slightly bit weak on that side. So I don't mind taking the punt if you wanted to. Uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
but still looking, still can't find. I've locked up my team, Ryan. Thanks for the help. See you next week. No worries. Five one three. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, guys, you have ten minutes more. Make sure to lock your teams. Ten minutes more. Um, I'm still looking to try and get you some team news if I can. But so far, nothing too much. Hmm. Who is this? Is it Diaz? Looks like it's Diaz. I think Diaz by the looks of it as well starts. I don't know what that is. Alright. Uh, if I get confirmation Gusta starting, I might go for it. Fair enough. Um, this week could see movements in rank based on which players performed. Even templates have so many good options. Yeah, I agree. I do agree with that. Like, there are like, op like even the slight differentials in the templates uh, would help. In terms of how players perform. Uh, Alright. I think we're looking good. Let's try and find some Luis Gusto team news if you can. Howie bro. Siberian Tiger, after a long time, and Rishit, welcome as well. Uh, start Gusto or Pedro? Ooh, probably go for Gusto. I'm not sure if Pedro will start or not. He's a bit of a risk. Uh, but if you want to go for Pedro, you can try it and hope for the attack in returns. Um, would you bench Eze or Joe Pedro? Uh, Joe Pedro, I would start Eze. Better guarantee of minutes. Bench 1, Gabriel, Madison, Sala, Udogi, and Joe Pedro. I would probably... Ooh... I'm benching Udogi at the moment. So I'll probably bench Udogi. Out of those slot, Evan. Uh, that's probably what I would do. Alright, anything else from leaks? Nothing at the moment. I hate it that people now just like leak one player by one player just to get like the whole interactions on Twitter so that they can get more cash. But the thing is, NCC is injured, so high chance that Pedro starts. True, but Lalana can also play in that spot. Uh, and if he plays a up striker, two striker formation of Welbeck and Ferguson, then yeah. But I don't mind. But I would. St I still prefer. Probably go for Eze, who has the better minutes. So that's the thing. But yeah, if you want to try Pedro, you can, but it is a slight risk. Uh, no one has any Gusto news. Can't find Gusto news for you guys. Still searching, still searching. Hmm. Saliba or Pero? Uh, Pero? I would go for Saliba, probably. Because between Pedro Pero or Emerson, you don't know which one's going to start on that side. So probably Saliba. Probably Saliba. 
Pedro Porro and Emerson can both play in that spot and it's a bit of a pain trying to pick who is going to start. Alright, people. Five minutes. Five minutes for you to get your team sorted. Okay, I still can't find any gusto news, unfortunately. Uh, also, Mansoor, welcome to the Football Chat Box. How are you doing? Uh, okay, I think I'm searching, searching, but nothing. Also, people, if you do enjoy the content and you like the content and like, it would be greatly helpful if you can hit the like button and also smash the subscribe button because we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers but first we need to get to 600 subscribers and with your help we can do that on 565 right now it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button and that like button thank you very much All right, I think we're looking good. Uh, no other Chelsea team news at the moment. No other team news with regards to Colville, with regards to Gusto. Uh, nothing so far. Pick one, Gusto or Paul Torres? I obviously have Chilwell. Gusto. Probably Gusto. Because Burnley, I wouldn't put it past him. First home game, right? For the Premier League for them, for Burnley? No, second home game. Hmm. Probably Burnley. They'll probably want to at least score a goal against Villa, potentially. So Burnley. I mean, um, Gusto. Because also he's an attacking fullback compared to Paul Torres, who is not. Three minutes, three minutes, set those teams. All right, this is my team. We'll see how things go. I don't have any Gusto or Levi Colville news, unfortunately. But so far, we know Chilwell, Sterling, and Jackson all start. Chilwell, Sterling, and Jackson start. No Gusto news, unfortunately, or no Levi Colville news. But yeah, the other three that I mentioned start. All right. That's it. I think we'll see how things go. I can't find anything else for you guys, unfortunately. Hmm. I think we'll stop it there. And we'll see how things go. The deadline is about to pass. So make sure you save your teams. Save your captains. Um, and yeah. Wish you all the best of luck. Be a very interesting game week to be honest. 
Last two minutes, lock those transfers in. Indeed, lock the transfers. Lock the captaincy. Play power, Henry. Um, Rico Henry. Attacking fullback over the slightly less attacking. Uh, yeah, probably Rico Henry. Also home team. So Rico Henry. Dumb. Rico Henry for me. And it's done. Indeed. Alright. Good luck everyone. I'm falling falling asleep. So when I get up, I hope to see a Jackson at least one goal and an assist maybe. A double digit haul, please. Thank you very much. Alright. Time to end. Thank you all for watching guys. Uh I need bed. Time for bedtime. Bedtime for me. It's very early. 3 30 in the morning here. <coughs> Alright, thank you to everyone. Uh have a good morning. Indeed, good morning. <laughs> Great stream as always. No worries. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Amit, Will, Tom, uh, Shubharan, Rishit, Mansoor, Evan, Siberian Tiger, uh 513, Jaden. Who else? Shubharan, Rian, Luke, uh, Tempting the Wave, Banjo, Roku, Ivanar, uh, Salad the Samurai, and everyone else who joined me at the start Zachariah, uh, G, Evan, Oliver Wright, Rohan, uh, Ruhil, Amit. Luis, ARG, Rian, and everyone else who joined all the way at the start. Thank you, everyone. You should pray for Pedro to score more. He is your differential. Indeed. Indeed. And Mike as well. Thank you very much. Good luck, everyone. Good luck for Game Week 3. Uh, Monday, we'll have five things we learned uh, from Game Week 3. Hopefully, we learn some really good five things on Monday. Tuesday, live stream. Uh, most likely, team selection video live stream. Wednesday, podcast. That's the current plan. Uh, and then obviously deadline stream again on Friday on the Friday. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next week, and hopefully we have green arrows to everyone. All right, see you everyone. Thank you all.